once you have Robot C open, you will need to first go into the Robot menu to change and make sure that your platform for natural language is turned on. Click that and it will put a check mark next to it. If you go in and natural language is already checked, don't click it again. That will shut natural language off. You also need to check the communication mode to make sure that USB only is turned on. If not, your robot will only work when plugged into the computer. Once both of those features have been turned on, then you need to hit new file. Within this, we are going to first go into motor sensor setup. Setting up our motors first, I will do an example of a one motor system. So again, using the side of the car that your motor is on, we will type that into the computer. Our motors are the VEX 393 motors. Here is the option to reverse the motor if it's needed. Digital sensors, your button can appear in any of the digital sensors. Whichever one it's plugged into, that is where you simply will type your button. It is a touch sensor. Once you have those options programmed, go ahead and hit apply and then hit OK. You'll see the series of Pragma code at the top letting us know we're ready to begin. Within the natural language, we are going to be using the movement, wait, and until. These are drag and drop features, so if you click and hold, you can drag the feature over. Okay, so that is our until touch for our button. Then we would start our motor. I like to space down between each to make it clearer as to what we are looking at. We will wait our wait time. This one can be in whole seconds or half seconds. If you need to move into a quarter of a second or something else, you would need to use the wait in milliseconds. So for example, 9.25 seconds would be written as 925 in the wait time. And then our stop is right here. Inside the parentheses, we will want to fill in with whatever we named the item. So while our button is in digital four, we don't want to fill in that port there. We want to fill in the name of what we called it. Fill in our motor. Our wait time suggested is 10 to start with and whatever speed you're wanting. Remember 127 is full speed, 63 is half speed. Once these items are in there and ready to go, then you will be ready to download your program to your Cortex. You do need to make sure that your Cortex is turned on. Okay? If it's not turned on, it will not download your program to the Cortex. Okay. Once that has been taken care of, you will hit download to robot. It's going to prompt you to save it. Each time, save it to the desktop of your computer. Okay. Name them partner name one, partner name two, and then if you have a third partner, the partner name three. That way it's very clear whose program it is. Okay. Save your program. You'll see it start to download. Okay. Once this button pops up, that means that your program has fully gone. If you get this message, it'll tell you that it's not powered on. And as for this example, I left the battery off so that you could see what would happen if you don't have your Cortex fully powered. So you would need to plug the battery in to your Cortex, then turn your Cortex on and hit re-download. If your program does download successfully the first time, you'll just simply see this window. Okay? You would hit start to run your program, unplug it from the computer, and then you'll be able to press your button. After, if you need to make any changes, choose the red X to close it rather than using the suspend or stop button just because this will close the program down faster. You can make your changes and then again re-download to the computer.